Okay, so this is what we're going to make uh, three uh, promotional banners uh, as a kind of exercise. This is the um, uh, Enjoy of a Travel, uh, some travel agencies. Okay, so let me take a look at the other size of each banner, uh, artboards. So first one, this is the, um, uh, the horizontal, that's the biggest billboard size on the web. So 970 pixel by 250 pixel. And then um, this vertical one, that is 300 by 600 pixels. And the last, 336 pixel by 280 pixel. Okay, so I'm going to make the kind of three different size banners for one theme. So I'm um, just remember, uh, we're gonna use kind of same graphic language, same images, same uh, colors, same logos, and same concept, but slightly different layout because each banner has the different proportion. So we're gonna use this one. Okay, so first, uh, once you have your layout on either uh, Photoshop or Illustrator, uh, we're going to finalize it to animate uh, in Photoshop. So if you lay out this uh, banner in Photoshop, then uh, you can skip this uh, process. So what I did, uh, since I made this banner in Illustrator, I moved each element into Photoshop file and then um, into the separate layers, okay? So you can hide, see? Okay, so um, it is important to have a plan ahead uh, where and how you want to animate it. So first, once you have the separate layers, and then uh, it'll be a kind of a good idea to have a name on each layer, so I can tell which layer has which one, and then go to Windows menu, and timeline and there will be two different options create video timeline or create frame animation choose the first one and click so by default it will create some kind of a, a five second animation from one to from zero to five so nothing's happening it plays but nothing's happening okay so my first plan is I want to uh, change my background image this one see the background image layer is selected okay so let me drag down so that is this and then on each layer in this timeline panel there are several choices you can change the position you can change the opacity value and you can change the style so let's do this let me change the um, just the opacity value of this one Okay, so first, uh, <clears throat> like the other animation program, like a Flash, I mean, the Anime CC or After Effects or Premiere, uh, always any animation requires at least two keyframes, departure and the destination. So I want to set my departure uh, by clicking this uh, stopwatch. You see the diamond thing? So that's the first keyframe. Then, in one second mark, you see your time here, I'm going to insert another keyframe by clicking this uh, diamond. So I have a departure and the destination. So on departure, I just want to change the opacity value of this by, in this layer, make sure that you're selecting the correct layer just to change the opacity value on the first keyframe. So it is fading in. Okay, so I'm gonna make it simple. So that's it, I'm done. Now, next, frame. This blue things. I want to make it kind of, I want to change the size of this. So um, <clears throat> as you can see that, there is no scale options or distortion options here. So what we're gonna do is select that frame layer then click on the drop down menu then choose where are you convert to smart object now watch 
Once you convert this layer to smart object, you can see the transform. Okay. So on departure, on zero second mark, let me choose the transform. Okay. And also in one second mark, here, I'm going to insert another keyframe, destination. The very beginning, here, I want to start from the account, I want to make it a lot of, uh, the bigger. So, under Edit menu, Transform and Scale. Let me zoom out a little bit. And let me make it bigger, like that. And this is uh, hit the return, and this is happening. See, so background image is fading in, and then um, the frame is getting small. It looks like a kind of a closing. Okay, so I'm done. Now, <clears throat> next layer is enjoy. So let me hide it. Enjoy of travel, the main main thing. So uh, let me do this. I want to start this animation once the background image and blue frame shows up, show up like here. So let me move this, the beginning of this text from one second mark. So at the very beginning, there is no text. Okay. So in here now, uh, I want to change the size of that uh, again. Okay, so let me change, convert this layer to smart object. And on one second mark, transform. And two second mark, another keyframe. So I have a departure and destination. And in here, I want to make it bigger. So um, again, under Transform and Scale, and let me make it not too big because it will be pixelated, maybe about that size, and hit the Return. It's getting smaller. And also, I want to change the opacity value. And second keyframe on the same two-second mark and opacity. So at the beginning, the first keyframe of this opacity layer, uh, let me change opacity value from the layer panel down to zero. So it is getting smaller and fading in. Okay, so this is done. Now slogan, what is slogan? We plan you pack. Okay, so that thing. So, once it has, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the title, Enjoy of Travel, and then I want to start the next text animation from two second mark. So just to drag it. And then I want to make it move in, maybe from right to the left, to the current position. So, I'm not going to convert to um, the, <clears throat> the smart object this time because I'm going to change the position and the opacity value only. So position here. And three second mark. Insert another keyframe. And on two second mark, uh, I'm going to move it to the right. Oops, not you. Enjoy. So we, yep, slogan. Select the slogan. Okay, I'm going to move it to the right. Not too much. So it is kind of uh, moving in. Also, at the same time, I want to have a fade in effect. So on two second mark, Insert the keyframe and the passive value on three second mark, another keyframe, and back to two second mark, the first keyframe, and then change the passive value down to zero.
So it is fading in and moving in. Okay, now next, logo, main logo. Uh, this time I want to change the size of this. So, like we did, this logo thing, uh, convert to smart object. Okay, and this logo will be coming in after three second mark, maybe here. Okay, so once everything comes in, then logo will comes in, will come in here. Okay, so on three second mark, I'm going to insert a transform keyframe, and on four second mark. Uh, another keyframe and then let me make it bigger on the first keyframe edit transform and scale and make it bigger maybe not too big that's pretty big okay and then also I want to change the opacity value as well insert the keyframe and keyframe in here first keyframe let me change the opacity value down to zero so it's coming in and fading in okay so now the last frame layer there are two more layers now we plan you pack uh, no URL and then airplane okay so URL thing uh, is uh, so these two layers will be coming in after four second mark. Here and here. Okay. We're going to change it and just uh, <clears throat> the position and then opacity value only. So URL, the bottom one, uh, www.wpyptravel.com. So position. And five second mark, the last keyframe position. You can extend it uh, as much as you want. So, first, the position I want to make it coming in from the left. So, let me move it just a little bit. So, it is coming in like this. And also, I want to change the opacity value. another keyframe and in here let me change the opacity value down to zero so it's fading in okay so this is done airplane I just want to change the position of this so on four second mark uh, it's a little bit off so I'm here position and the destination, insert another keyframe on the first keyframe here. Let me change the position of this. Let me move it down a little bit, maybe not too much. Just like this. Okay. And also, I want to change the opacity value here. And at the end, another keyframe. Then on the first keyframe of this airplane in this op opacity layer, change the opacity value down to zero. So it's fading in. Okay, so it's done. So let me rewind it and play it. So it's not too bad. Let me rewind and play again. It's going to be smoother now. Okay, so once it is done, go to file. I'm going to export as the MP4 file. Uh, export and render video. Okay. So I'll name the travel banner.mp4, select a folder. I'm going to save it into um, 
animated banner that is here and choose it and the format H264 YouTube HD 720 and everything's the same as it is okay oh uh, preset size we can choose that um, this size where are you uh, let me go back to Illustrator so first one was uh, the size was 970 pixel by 250 pixel so I'm gonna set to this size 970 by 250 okay then render so um, it's in progress exporting video okay I think it is done so let me check my folder um, no. animated banner and travel banner 1.mp4 that is this yeah it looks pretty smooth okay so that's it so um, uh, please apply the kind of the same uh, procedure on two uh, other two banners as well okay so um that's it for the uh that's for this banner animation in photoshop Shoo, shoo, shoo.